What is up everybody? In today's video, I will be giving you my bold prediction for one player on each team in the NFC North. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So with the first team that I will get into is the Green Bay Packers and my bold prediction for this player is Josh Jacobs will get his first career receiving touchdown. I know this may be a shocker for everyone, especially all you NFL fans and Packer fans, but yes, you read that correctly. Josh Jacobs does not have a single receiving touchdown, and I believe he will get that with the Green Bay Packers. Now, he started his career with the Oakland Raiders initially, now they're the Las Vegas Raiders, and it didn't really seem like the offensive scheme wanted to incorporate him a lot in the passing game, especially having Derek Carr just want to sling the ball a lot. But if you see here, he's probably averaged about three receptions per game. And I believe with him going to the Green Bay Packers, especially in a Matt LaFleur offensive scheme, he will get his opportunities in the passing game. A.J. Dillon didn't get a lot of receptions at Boston College. And by him coming to the Green Bay Packers, Matt LaFleur got him involved. And even though Josh Jacobs did not get involved in the passing game with the Raiders, Matt LaFleur will get him involved. We saw what he did with Aaron Jones. We saw what he did with Emmanuel Wilson, A.J. Dillon. Pretty much any running back in the Green Bay Packers have gotten their opportunity to get a receiving touchdown. And I think Josh Jacobs will make history in his career, getting that first career receiving touchdown with the Green Bay Packers. Now, my second bold prediction will be going to the Detroit Lions. And this is Sam Laporta getting at least 100 catches, 1,000 receiving yards, and 10-plus touchdown catches. Yes, he started 14 games last season, but look at the amount of targets he had. 120 targets, 86 receptions, 889 yards, and 10 touchdown passes. Just picture a full season with Sam Laporta starting every single game. He's going to get at least 100 catches, at least 1,000 receiving yards, and more than 10 touchdown passes. The Lions have easily probably the best offensive line. Then they have Montgomery and Gibbs, smash and dash duo. Then you have St. Brown, um, Williams in the receiving game. So I believe that with everything going on on the offense, I believe it helps Laporta sneak in the in the field, get his opportunities and a lot of targets. But I think this is going to be a career year for Sam Laporta. He may come down as the best tight end in 2024. Um, I think he's going to have a breakout year. As a Packers fan, I Sam Laporta is legit. He's going to explode in this offense, and he, I personally believe he may come down to being the best tight end in the upcoming 2024 season. So for all you fantasy football players, if you're looking for a tight end, especially a breakout tight end, I think Sam Laporta will at least get these three criteria in 2024. Now the third team that I'm going to get into is the Chicago Bears, and my bold prediction is DeAndre Swift will get at least 15 total touchdowns. Look, he came very close to it in his first year, but look, you saw he started four games riddled by injuries. He had eight rushing touchdowns, two receiving touchdowns. So pretty much the most he's had in one season is 10 touchdowns. But let's picture a full season. I want all NFL players to be healthy, play every single game. So with what I'm saying is with DeAndre Swift playing a full season with the Chicago Bears, I personally believe he will get at least 15 total touchdowns. The Bears have Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, now Roma Dunze, um, and now with Caleb Williams as their starting quarterback. I think the Bears are going to want to get smart and just make life easier for Caleb Williams. So they're probably going to utilize Swift in the run game a lot. And if the receivers are not open, I think they're going to have Caleb just check the ball down a lot to DeAndre Swift in the passing game. And I think this will help DeAndre Swift get more opportunities to get touchdowns as well as get more running yards rushing yards and receiving catches so i believe deandre swift can be in for a big fantasy football year and a big season so i believe with deandre swift being a nice uh, dual back in the receiving and rushing game i think they'll utilize swift a lot and make caleb williams life a lot easier and relying on him a lot to kind of get the offense engine going now last but not least my bull prediction for the Minnesota Vikings is Sam Darnold 
will lead the division with the most interceptions. As you see here, when Sam Darnold starts at least 10 games, he surpassed 10 interceptions. Um, in his first four NFL seasons, he's averaged about 13 interceptions. And then when you saw um, the last past two seasons, six games starting, three interceptions. With the 49ers, started one game, one interception. He is in a pass-heavy offensive scheme with Kevin O'Connell and the Minnesota Vikings. I believe Sam Darnold's going to want to force feed Justin Jefferson a lot with reason because he is their best receiver. Jordan Addison is an up-and-coming receiver. I'm sure Darnold's going to want to get him involved to get the, ten the attention away from Justin Jefferson. They have TJ Hawkinson in tight end, but I just believe with the type of offensive scheme, very pass-heavy, they're going to want to throw the ball a lot, kind of add some Kirk style to Sam Darnold's game, which I believe it will lead to a lot of interceptions. So let's say Sam Darnold, he's probably going to be a week one starter. So if Sam Darnold is the week one starter and he wins that job throughout the season, let's just go with 17 games starting. Me, I'm probably looking at up between 15 to 20 interceptions. Don't think Love will be in that range. I don't think Golf will be in that range. And I think the Bears will do their best to be smart with Caleb Williams and not be in that range, especially with the amount of great pass catchers they have and relying on Swift. So I don't think Caleb will be that high. So my bold prediction for Sam Darnold and the Minnesota Vikings is that Sam Darnold will lead the division with the most interceptions. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any bold predictions for any of these teams or which players you guys may think, please comment below and let me know your thoughts. Give me some hot takes on bold predictions. I'll be more than happy to look at the engagement and see what you guys think. Thank you so much. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I make weekly football content, drop videos every Mondays and Friday. And if you enjoy the content, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and catch you next time.